So hello, I'm going to present a um, fun and hopefully interesting little idea. Um, so I'm William Berglund, and uh, in short, I'm a functional programming enthusiast. And at the moment, I'm especially interested in translating uh, functional and declarative patterns into the domain of JavaScript. So uh, testing virtual DOM, uh, which is, as the title suggests, what I'm talking about. Uh, when it comes to testing virtual DOM, uh, React being the most popular virtual DOM, uh, Enzyme has become the de facto standard for uh, also being recommended in the official documentation of React, etc. But I personally uh, prefer a more declarative approach, especially for testing functional components. And Enzyme also does way more than I need or want when testing functional components. So I started by thinking about how this could be done differently. Uh, when I heard about the React test renderer. Uh, its output, output appeared to be perfect for writing a VDOM abstraction, meaning that I could write test utilities that are VDOM implementation independent. So if you think about what actually constitutes a VDOM representation, uh, we find that it's mostly about three values. It's props, type, and children. So it makes sense to represent it as a trifunctor, which simply means that it's a functor of three arguments, uh, in this case a triple. So um, if you want to represent a functor, uh, try functor in JavaScript, we can simply base it on something as simple as this. And it being a functor, we need to implement a map function, or in this case, a try map. So if we try map over the triple instance with three functions, we'll get back a new triple instance with values being the result of applying those functions to the instance values. So conceptually, try app to implement apply specification uh, is not too different in implementation. Now we provide a triple representing three functions rather than providing three functions as in the try map call. So given a triple of A to B functions where we can imagine A to B being a VDOM value to a Boolean, we apply a triple representing VDOM values and get back a triple representing results, in this case Boolean values indicating test success. And if we want to say, uh, achieve the same thing, uh, the same functionality for our children's array, which is nested inside a triple, we can make use of an applica applicative functor for lists called siplist. Uh, in this way, we can work in much the same way uh, for our children as we already do with our triple. So uh, just using these constructs that we've just written, you could potentially write a test like this, but uh, the syntax is not ideal. Uh, and observable, uh, observant will also notice that in this code, siplist is also a foldable and the triple is also a setoid. And the t function returns true, just like in Ramda. The nice thing is that uh, writing helper functions for easing the syntax is both short and flexible. With just two functions, we can transform the test syntax into something much more pleasant on the eyes. And there's much more you can do than this. There's a lot of power in the API provided by the try functor and the siplist. And one nice thing, about, uh, nice thing about representing a test uh, as a, uh, of a VDOM node as an applicative functor is that it becomes very easy to include and reuse representations of components. It also makes it trivial to pass down props to your triple constructors when declaring a VDOM tree. And it also becomes very easy to make use of prop-based testing using these structures. One other benefit is that we can make our VDOM type adhere to a foldable, traversable, or setoid specification to implement more features and tooling. One such tooling which one might imagine is that rather than returning a trip representing booleans, we use an either, maybe, or simply a tuple. Uh, and we can gather information about errors or metadata and then fold that to get to some value which we can use to represent, test, or analyze. So that was just a short, interesting idea. It's an API that I think is very interesting and has a lot of potential. I want to give a shout out to Fantasyland uh, and Staticland, which are uh, abstract algebraic data type specifications uh, for the JavaScript, JavaScript domain. Uh, I will be putting example code representing all of this on this empty GitHub, and you can, uh, if you want to know when I put it there, you can follow me on Twitter or something, or you can yes, ask me questions there. Thanks.